Cloud cover still hanging in there. Our distillery district live camera is starting to show some hints of breaks in it, though, and that is where we're heading later on today. Another vantage point, St. Joseph Hospital downtown. You can see those clouds and boy, they did not go away yesterday, did they? It was really interesting. We had this, these showers, just, they kept rotating around the base of this upper low up to our north. So they were swinging in and mainly getting folks along and north of I-64 wet. As soon as you drop south, there just wasn't a whole lot of coverage at all. So 24 hour rainfall totals tell a tale, a couple of tenths of an inch in the northern Kentucky, and then it rapidly drops off to pretty much zilch as you head south. We're done with that. Now there is a chance that we'll see shower uh, possibilities ramping up and down throughout the week, but they should be on the lower end and not a huge concern. And at this point, it looks like uh, the few that we will see, a lot of them will pass through overnight. Uh, there's still showers on the move as you head up into Ohio and up through New England. Uh, but we've got this parade of upper lows. There's one off of uh, the well off of uh, Newfoundland there out in the Atlantic. There's another one. This is the one that went through the weekend. Uh, over the Great Lakes pushing northeast and then there's another one dropping in from the upper Midwest. It's just basically cold air aloft and it keeps things unsettled, it keeps the cloud cover in there, it keeps it showery, sometimes storms or winter weather, depending on the temperature. And this upper low is going to be to our north, but just enough that after this cold front goes through today and we dry out a little bit and enjoy a little sunshine, we'll see a return to some cloud cover, a few showers trying to get going overnight. We'll actually have a warm front lifting in from down south as that low continues off to our north. So we're just kind of caught in between all these active systems. No direct hits, but enough to just keep it a little on the unsettled side. And with temperatures cooler, it's just going to feel very springy this week. I mean, with as warm as it was running last week with those highs in the mid upper 70s, it was feeling more like at times we were in the you know early summer phase there. We're not, and we're getting back to reality this week. It's 56 degrees. A lot of that has to do with the clouds that have been hanging in. As soon as that cloud cover goes by the wayside, those temperatures will pop, and I think we'll be in the upper 70s to, or I should say upper 60s to low 70s. That was wishful thinking. <laughs> Mid-60s tomorrow, that's our average high. And then we get down to and just kind of bump around below our average high the rest of the week and into the weekend. Then you look at the overnight lows, and this is where it's a concern for some. A lot of folks get antsy to get stuff planted, you know, put plants out, hanging baskets. If you're a gardener, you know it's way too early to do it, but some people just can't, can't help themselves. Patchy frost, a possibility getting into Thursday and Friday. And this time of the year, it can be damaging to, you know, anything that's flowering at this point. So we'll have to watch out for that. It's not going to be a big cold snap. It was looking like it was going to be a little more substantial when I was watching last week. But still, you can see the departure from normal. And you can see that colder air building in by uh, mid to late April. We'll still have some of it hanging around. So this is the backlash, the swing back in the other direction from that really warm stuff we were enjoying. Partly sunny, cool, breezy, isolated showers. Possibility today, I think if we see much of anything, it would be a few overnight. Down in the 40s. Tomorrow. Back to mid 60s, which is our average high, and then notice the low 60s. Those overnight lows in the 30s going into early Thursday and Friday morning. Best chance right now for some scattered showers. Unfortunately, it could very well be Saturday.